We are uh, finishing up section 4.1 in Intermediate Algebra. Uh, example 11 starts with evaluate rational functions. Example 11 has this function f of x equals x plus 1 over x plus 2, and then there are directions to find f of 0. That's part A. To find f of 0 simply means to replace the x with 0. Now, f of x does not mean f times x. This is function notation. This is the name of the function. The entire function is over here on the right. So to find f of 0, we will just replace 0 in the right part of the function. So we write it like this. f of 0 equals not x plus 1, 0 plus 1 not x plus 2, 0 plus 2, and then we simplify. f of 0 equals 1 half. That means that when x is 0, y is 1 half. Um, I actually like it when students write this as an ordered pair. When x is 0, y is 1 half. Part b asked us to find f of negative 1, so we will replace x with negative 1. So that would be negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 plus 2. That would be 0 over 1, which simplified makes 0. In interval, uh, I'm sorry, as an ordered pair, that means when x equals negative 1, y equals 0. In other words, what I substituted here is the x coordinate. When I simplified it in, what comes out is the y coordinate. Part C says find f of 2. So we will substitute 2 in that function for x. We'll have 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 2. When we simplify, we get 3 fourths. As an ordered pair, that means when x equals 2, y equals 3 fourths. And that would be an actual point on the graph of this function. Letter D says find f of negative 4, so negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 3 over negative 2, which simplifies to make positive 3 over 2. Negative divided by negative makes positive, so you need to make sure that you are always simplifying your fractions. As an ordered pair, that means when x is negative 4, y will be 3 over 2. Now part E of this question asks us to find x when f of x equals 3. I'm going to rewrite the function here. The function is f of x equals x plus 1 over x plus 2. Now this is a little bit different. It's asking us to find x when f of x equals 3. That means that they are not telling us x, so we are not substituting for x here. Instead, if f of x equals 3, means I'm going to put the 3 here on this side, or it's the y value instead of the x value. So if I put the 3 here, I have x plus 1 over x plus 2. The question is asking me to find x. So once I replace that 3 on this side, I'm going to solve this equation for x. The first thing you need to do is get this x plus 2 off of here. Um, if you know the law of proportions, you know that you can cross multiply to get rid of that denominator. So 3 times x plus 2 is the same as 1 times x plus 1 or x plus 1. And you end up with this equation here once you get that denominator out of there like that. Um, and then you can simplify and solve. So using distributive property, 3x plus 6 equals x plus 1. If you combine like terms, I'm going to subtract this x off of both sides. So I'm going to end up with 2x equals, when I subtract this 6 off to this side, I get negative 5. You divide by 2, 
we get x equals negative 5 over 2. If we go back, I'm just going to scroll a little bit here. We were trying to find x when f of x equals 3. So our x came out to be negative 5 over 2. Uh, y was 3. So when we put this as, a, as an ordered pair, x is negative 5 over 2 and y is 3. So that's the end of this section. Uh, keep track of your questions, bring them back to class, and we'll be happy to review this in class.